It's a two thumbs up kind of day. Yeah. Not really feeling like fall out there. Uh, no complaints, yeah, all right. No complaints, the complaint right. department is empty. Yeah, it's closed. It will change <laughs> though this weekend. Uh, we're talking oh. a big time cool down and some rain on the way, but all is quiet right now on campus. Clear skies each day. That sun setting a little bit earlier, so this picture gets a little bit more uh, interesting or colorful every night. We'll see our changes here over the coming days. 65 on campus right now. A pair of sixes in Lansing and in Jackson. 61 Hillsdale. 64 is from Howell through Ann Arbor, Adrian, as well as Ionia. 65 in Charlotte. 65 also in Marshall. Across the region, all is quiet with still the influence of that high pressure system dominating our weather, but it's shifting off to the east, taking its place as a cold front that's still out in parts of the Dakotas and the Rockies. That cold front will slide through come Friday, bringing us some rain. So even though there's some rain in parts of Iowa, I think it holds off until Friday. So tomorrow should be a nice day, but Friday, yeah, that will change. Let's get right to your Friday forecast. You'll see waking up at 7 a.m. Clouds on the increase. Rain just off to the west of us, but yeah, we could see a few showers for the first half of your Friday. I really think the better chance for that more impactful weather comes later in the day. We'll stop the clock here at 5 p.m., 6 p.m. You can see a few showers out there, but the front itself is still out to the west. And then it's that front that will give us the best chance for some heavier rain, maybe even for some thunderstorms as well. That comes in closer to uh, the midnight hour, right? And that's when we'll see some showers, maybe a few thunderstorms. So with that being said, yes, high school football could once again be impacted. Now I'm hopeful that we can get the games in. They might be a little bit wet, but I'm hoping that if there is any lightning or thunder, that it will be later in the evening and overnight. But we'll have to keep a close eye on the timing of all this. That system moves through waking up Saturday morning. There could be a stray shower still out there but we start to dry things out and that will continue for most of the day Saturday, but I'm still not going to rule out stray shower out as we head into the early parts of next week. The bigger story though with this cold front that's producing all that rain is the big change in temperatures, upper 60s, lower 70s the next couple of days. Then we're talking 50s for highs this weekend and next week. And I think Saturday we're gonna spend just about the whole day in the 40s, that 50 degree high will likely come at midnight. So yeah, a very cold and windy day Saturday. Same thing for Sunday as well. And then we do see temperatures stay pretty steady next week with some more rain in the forecast. As for tonight, no rain. Could though once again see some patchy fog like what we did this morning. Lows will be in the middle to upper 40s. Clouds start to thicken up tomorrow. It's really just those upper level clouds that will kind of filter out the sunshine. But still should be a nice day once again with highs in the upper 60s. And yeah, some spots may even crack 70. I think a lot of us will on Friday, if not still in the upper 60s. We'll see a few showers, maybe a rumble of thunder later in the evening. And I really think that's going to be closer to 11 p.m. or midnight. A few showers early Saturday. I'm not going to rule out a stray shower Sunday or Monday, but the better chance for rain Tuesday into Wednesday of next week. I, I look at that forecast. I see all the fives. I don't like it. Yeah, well, it's bedtime. It's fall. You know? it's fall. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Brett, thank you.